helps the voiceless creature. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Wet Tutorial. Hey guys, have you ever wondered how scientists develop new medicines or understand different diseases? Behind many medical breakthroughs are laboratory animals helping researchers found cures and improve lives. So the topics which are covered in today's videos are What is laboratory animal? Role of different laboratory animals in various fields Then bioassay and the committee which supervise on the experiments of animal and lastly classification of laboratory animals. What are laboratory animals? Laboratory animals are defined as those animals which are used for experimental and diagnostic purpose which may resemble in result with human being. They can be very well used for carrying out various biological experiments and research in biomedical as well as veterinary and animal science. Then let's start with the role of different laboratory animals in various fields. First is mice. Mice are used for toxicological purpose, microbiological and vaccine assay purpose, then insulin testing purpose, then infectious dose and lethal dose 50 purpose, then study on cancer tissues, then various drug studies, especially toxicology of various drugs. Then let's briefly understand what is infectious dose or ID 50 or LD 50. So among four animals, suppose two animals are infected among the four, which means 50% of the population are infected. Hence, it is infectious dose 50. And for the, among the four animals, suppose two animals are dead, which means it is lethal dose 50. And remember that 80% of experiments are done on rodents. And among rodents, about 70% of experiments are done on mice. Then rats. Rats are used for pharmacological studies of various drugs, insulin research, diabetes and various toxicological tests. Then guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are used for the microbiological studies, allergic reactions, anaphylactic shocks, preparation of anti-sera, and lastly used in lab diagnostics of the tuberculosis because lesions of tuberculosis are prominent in guinea pigs. Then rabbits. Rabbits are used for the pyrogen testing, insulin potency testing, immunological research, reproductive studies and virological stu research. Then lastly hamster. Hamsters are used for cancer tissue testing parasitological researches, then virological researches, that is study of virus and viral diseases. Then let's study what is bioassay. Bioassay is a method that uses a living organism to measure the effect of an substance. It helps to confirm the safety, potency and utility of a vaccines, drugs, infusion fluids, immune sera, bioassay is a great help. These all aspects are standardized in laboratory animals prior to their distribution in the field. The level of toxins also need to be confirmed for the potency. Then let's see some of the committees and acts. First is IAEC, Institutional Animal Ethic Committee. It is basically a committee that oversees and approves animal research at an institute. It ensures that the research is carried out humanly and in a compliance with the law. Then second is CPCSEA. That is Committee for the Purpose of Control and Supervision of Experiments on the Animal Under Rule. Then Act, Prevention of Cruelty to Animal Act that is established in 1960. Then Day, World Laboratory Day celebrated on 24th April. Then let's start with the classification of laboratory animals. There are four types of classification. First is conventional animals. Second is notobiotic animals. Third is specific pathogen-free animals. And fourth is germ-free animal. 
so let's start with the conventional animal conventional animals are derived and grown in general environment but free from disease communicable to humans like mycobacteria dermatophytic fungi pasturella and sarcoptic scabi then second is notobiotic animals animals with known microbes such as virus bacteria fungi protozoa is said to be notobiotic animals these animal has to be bred in a controlled environment in a equipment called isolator they are foundation stock for producing specific pathogen free spf animals and may be derived from germ free animals Notobiotic rats and mice used to study carcinogenesis, immunology, toxicology, nutrition, host parasite relationship. Then third is specific pathogen free animals. An animal which is made free from specific or particular microbes is known as specific pathogen free animals. SPF animals Let us suppose that we want to make an animal free from microbes that is salmonella. This can be done by correct medication or derived from the parents which are de- devoid of such microbes and reared under free from salmonella. It may have other organisms. Then fourth is germ free animals an animal which do not have any demonstrable microbes is known as germ free animals these animals are useful to study role of microbes in nutrition to study physiology without infection to conduct biological toxicological and microbiological studies here we ends the classification of laboratory animals If you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon for more such videos